Children, children, yes, yes, you, gather round. Gather round, it is the most woke, empty house, business, crypto, fad, advice guy with a great bod, and he's PG, and whew, I forgot all my titles. I'm very important, which is why you should listen to me. You are on this video because you want to know how to burn, learn how to buy NFTs. You might have seen an NFT go for 69 million the other day, and you might be thinking, how do I get in those fat stacks so I can relax? Well, I'm going to tell you. As your very trustworthy crypto fad advice guy, who also has a great bod, in this video, I'm going to instruct you on how to buy NFTs. So let me enlighten you. Yes, there are many NFTs in the market. There is Thick Pikachu, and yes, there is CryptoPunks, and there is even these new cats that are supposedly super valuable now that came out yesterday. Yes, you might be looking at all these, but let me tell you the number one NFT you should be buying. Did you know, as your number one crypto fad advice guy with a great body who's also PG, I am launching my own NFTs that are much more valuable than all the other NFTs combined. You could have three beeples, five beeples, 16 beeples, or you could have one of my NFTs. Let me show you these. And you might be wondering, how do you know these are valuable? Anyway, so my rarest NFT is what I like to call Red Square. Yes, this, this is very rare. You can't get it anywhere else. There's only one of these. But wait, there's more. This piece is going to go for a mere 50 ETH at the start of bidding. Why 50 ETH? What gives it that value? Anyway, so my next piece right here is also going to be called grayish square. Yes, this grayish square piece, very rare, very limited. There is only five of them. In case it took me 16 years to make gray square, and this will be starting at a meager 420 ETH, just $800,000 in this gray square can be yours. Why should you buy these NFTs? Well, because they're rare and they're valuable. It's quite obvious to any, any cultured person. These are great pieces. Okay, let me back up. I know, I know you as my viewers do not have as much money as me. So what I'm going to do in this video instead is I'm going to tell you, drop in the clown voice, exactly how to buy NFTs without losing a lot of money. Because good old smarty pants right here, ooh, he's, he's the worst NFT buyer. No, seriously, I have made every mistake in the book when it comes to buying NFTs. And my last video where I did nothing but talk smack about NFTs, everything in that still stands. But... You're probably looking at the marketplace right now and you're seeing people flip stuff left and right for crazy prices. For example, I got in on the second NFT ever made, this cat thing yesterday, for zero dollars. You just had to pay gas and now the things are going for like, I think the floor might be one ETH when I make this video tomorrow, so like $2,000. I got 14 of them. So that's like at least $20,000 for doing nothing but clicking pictures of cats. Absolutely ridiculous, and yes, it is tulip mania. You are completely correct. But you are gonna be tempted to get in, the, why am I wearing my workout gloves still? You are gonna be tempted to get into this. My hands hurt when I lift weights, okay? It's not my fault. But you're gonna be tempted to get into this because there's so much money going around in here, and you're also gonna be tempted to like think things, like these things are gonna hold value, or like you should buy them from a secondary market. Trust me, if, if you know what to look for in NFTs, you can actually make a lot of money, but if you don't know what to look for or you don't know quite what you're looking at, it is the easiest thing to lose money in ever. It's, it's insane. I learned this the hard way by losing a lot of money in hash mask. It was embarrassing, okay? It was like 50 grand or something. Bad. I managed to make that money back in like other trades, but it's bad. You don't do that. However, a lot of NFTs I've picked up lately have been able to be flipped for a lot of money. And so I'm, I've actually been able to buy ones for like dirt cheap and then slip them and then flip them for like 20, 30 X ROIs. So I wanna show you kind of how I do that. So when you go and try and get into this, you don't blow your head off like I did. Let, let's just begin. Also guys, a very quick warning. And I mean this in the strongest term of, of warning. I don't know how to show you my theory and logic for, for buying NFTs, other than showing you what's in my portfolio and talking about the projects I've gotten into, please, please, please do not buy anything based on what's in my portfolio, okay? I've lost a lot of money in NFTs making the mistakes I'm gonna cover in this video, and one of the biggest mistakes you can make is, is aping into things and jumping into things just because someone else thinks they're cool. I am not confident in these projects. This is not me sharing like a cool crypto project I think is gonna do well in the future. These are me, doing cheese ball things to try and flip something that was worth nothing yesterday for 50 times more than it was yesterday, okay? This is the ultimate cheese ball, goof troopery, high risk, high reward way to make money, and I'm not confident if you buy these, you will, you will keep your money. You will probably lose money. 
So please, I am begging you, for the sake of this video, do not buy any of the projects I am talking about in this video, okay? This is not me suggesting that these are gonna do well. This is absolutely not financial advice. This is me walking you through all the horrors of NFTs. So if you do get into this cheese ball game, you at least, <laughs> You at least are, are, are not going to get decked the second you walk into the arena, okay? Please don't buy anything in my portfolio. Okay, so we're a good old-fashioned OpenSea right now, and you probably know what, know what an NFT is. It's just a digital asset, okay? So you can see, basically what I do is collect memes at this point. I just collect thick Pokemon. Uh, yeah, this is what I do with my time. I collect waifus. Yeah, and then I also collect a lot of uh, digital art. Okay, so you can see I got like a lot of really cool art that I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell, just being straight with you. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be able to be sold. That being said, there's a few things in here that are great buys and there's a few things that just, just aren't, okay? But I wanna show you an example of what I'm talking about right here first. So you can see this cat right here. I actually own a lot of these in another wallet. I have, I have, I have a bunch of wallets. So that being said, this thing right here, I, I didn't. I bought this one from a secondary market, which is something I'm going to tell you not to do. But I got these things for literally nothing, like 50, 80 bucks a pop. And if we actually go and look at these cats now, what they're selling for, let's just go view all of these. And we go to the cheapest one. The floor is going to be about 4.4 ETH right now. So that's about $800. Okay. I'm really confident these are going to go to one to two, three dollars. Do not buy these. Do not buy these. Do not buy these. Okay. This is just an example. So how do you know what NFTs to buy? All right. So when you're looking at NFTs, the things you need to buy are the things that are borderline free. And what you must absolutely never do is buy things that are starting at NFT hype prices. What do I mean by this? So for example, this is like the worst thing I ever bought. Logan Paul, Broxberger. I actually think these are going to be valuable in the future. And I, I do like having at least one of these. However, Logan launched these things at one ETH. That's $2,000. Yes, I know. You can, you, you can, I, I'm completely okay with you making fun of me in the, the comment section for this. The problem with this is the second this, this actually came out, there's way too much supply and the price absolutely bottom out right here. Like you can see, I can only sell this for like $600 now if I wanted to right now. So what you need to understand is in the NFT market right now, people are cash grabbing. They are starting projects where the floor of the project starts at one ETH. That, that, is, that is silliness to the millionth degree. What I mean by buying the floor of, of brand new projects, you could get one of these yesterday for free. All you had to do was pay gas fees. They now go for nearly $1,000. Okay. When Pokemon or thick Pokemon drops happen, this is the same with so many other projects, for example. Um, like for example, this, the floor on this one right here, uh, was like zero, zero five ETH or something like that. It was insanely cheap, basically free by NFT standards. Now you can easily sell them for $500. That is what I'm referring to. Do not buy things that start at one ETH because all the real collectible projects start at zero. Okay. Just like a Pokemon card or anything like that. That is what you must look out for. For example, waifus where the floor is like, I think the floor is like 0.015 ETH or something like that. These things right here started again at 0.01 ETH or 0.01. They're very, very, very cheap compared to what you can get them right now. Same thing with hash mass. CryptoPunks, for example. My CryptoPunk that I own is worth over $120,000 right now. If you got it a few years ago, it was free. That's what you need to, that's what you need to be looking for in NFTs. You don't buy this product to start off high, that, 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 that's a facade. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about when we get into this. So I'm just really a big fan of, of thick Pokemon. Don't buy thick Pokemon because I, I said so or anything like that. But you can see right here, um, a lot of new NFTs when they come out, collectibles, what they're going to do is they're going to start very, very low prices. And if you just sit on crypto and NFT Twitter, you can usually see which things are about to take off. I'm going to show you how to do that here in a second. But so, for example, um, you can see like, where's one I just bought right here? Okay. Um, I bought this for like zero something ETH. I don't, I don't even know how much I bought it for. The, the original price was like 004 ETH right here. Okay. Now it's selling for 0.2. So this is an instant 5X ROI same day on buying this. Okay. So how, how do you, how do you get in on these things? What is this? Well, what this is, is just an example of an NFT drop. 
okay? So these dropped for basically nothing, and now people are selling them for a lot more. Okay? So for example, if you got like one of the Charizards in this, it now sounds, sells for like $20,000, okay? Uh, one of the top cats that was found uh, sold for 20 ETH. That's like $40,000. It, it was either $20,000 or 20 ETH. So that's exactly what you want to look for in NFTs. You want to buy stuff that is so low that you can't get burned, that somebody's going to buy it. And so how do, you, how do you do this? What's the logic behind it? When you are going in the NFTs, what NFTs really are is a game of musical chairs. And you want to be there first when something drops. You want to be on the inside curve. And if you can be there first when something drops, the market is always usually going to follow and then buy it all up. So how, how, do, you, how do you detect this stuff? The best way to get in on NFTs is literally, you can see this, like we have celebrities now buying moon cats. This, this, this was today, okay? NFT, NFT crypto moves at hyperspeed, okay? So the way I actually find a lot of things, as you can see, this is, um, I would say, an acquaintance of mine at this point. I uh, was super helpful. They're just always researching NFTs and finding good projects. And I think a lot of people on NFT crypto shill a lot of projects. But for example, uh, Justin just stumbled upon this project today. And if I scroll through my newsfeed, what I'm going to see is basically what everyone in the NFT world is talking about. Because the NFT world isn't controlled by tech or what companies are doing. It's controlled by what people think is valuable at a given set time. Now, the thing you need to know about NFTs is none of these are valuable. And I don't think any of these will hold value. Maybe CryptoPunks. Maybe the cat project I just bought. Maybe thick Pokemon just for the lulls. I don't know. But I, I don't think I, it, this, the chances, I mean, thick Pokemon, I don't know. That's why I bought a few at like a high price because I just, I just like, I just really wanted a thick Pikachu. But I, I would not be buying these things above the floor, okay? Um, if, I, if I wasn't just collecting them. I'm literally just collecting these things. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But if I'm actually doing something to flip or make money, I'm going to buy at the absolute floor. And the way I find it is just by scrolling through Twitter. It, it's that simple. Every project I found that I, thought I bought the floor, for example, this, this, this project launched like last week. Someone bought, bought it for 361000 I don't think that's going to be a good, I don't think he's going to look back on that decision and smile, but whatever. And so this is what I do. And I'll, I'll look at the projects when I, as I scroll through and find what everybody's talking about. And so what then happens in the NFT world is people discover a project and then they start talking about it. And then what happens is there's this really small amount of time where the project's super cheap. Okay. So like hash mass, for example, you could buy a hash mass for like 0 0.01 ETH or either it's 0.1 ETH or 0 0.01 ETH. Uh, they go for 1.5 and then like their peak two ETH, even if you've got the worst possible one. So you're looking at a huge ROI. And so where did people discover this, this project and start talking about? Twitter, okay? And so if you're gonna buy NFTs, do not buy anything that is not at the basement starting price, okay? If you're buying NFTs, don't buy any of the art from artists unless you're, you, you really just wanna keep the art. So for example, the art that's in my account, um, way down at the bottom, down here, I, I generally like really like this art. Okay, like I, I, I really like this stuff right here. It's, it's just cool and I want to hang it in my virtual home and that's that, okay? Will I flip some of these pieces if I can at a profit? Yeah, I don't think I can flip them. I think, I think I'm honestly stuck with them, just being straight with you. So my advice to you is if like, unless you are collecting art or something like that, just don't buy the art. Don't, don't, just don't buy the art, okay? It's, 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 it's too risky. What you always want to do is you find the new projects. When, when they're first being talked about, and usually, like I said, they're going to be going for, like this original cat was minted for 50 bucks, and now it's, it, it's, going, to, it's going for at least $1,000 almost. Now, the next thing you never, ever, ever, ever want to do, ever, 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 do not buy from secondary markets, okay? Don't do what I did right. Uh, this, this is a perfect example, okay? So I bought this this thick war turtle right here. And I know everybody in the comments is gonna be like, this guy's literally insane. But I bought this guy uh, for one ETH. You can see the price has actually gone to 1.5 ETH. That's the new floor. So this, this will probably end up turning out well, but I didn't buy it to, uh, to make money. I bought it because I wanted a thick squirtle. So never buy from a secondary market. Why? Because somebody literally printed this thing for like $70 and now it's going for $2,600. Is that logical? Does this make sense? Is this a sound investment? No, that's not what I'm trying to demonstrate to you at all in this video. This is, this is tulip mania. It, 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 all of it is. <clears throat> and, the, and the difference is I'm, I'm comically rich, so I don't care really. But if you're not, this is not something you need to be 
getting into that you put your stuff you can make much better investments in the crypto return market but what a lot of people do and where they get caught up is they end up buying from the secondary market and they get stuck with it because then the floor gives out or just they, they can't flip it okay so if you're going to buy anything from a secondary market it means you're buying from a person that's already bought something so you're buying from a person that bought from the original artist and maybe you're buying from a fourth and a fifth person if you're going to do that you want to at least buy the floor so if if the the thing crashes you can at least get out of it so like let's go look at these cats okay so if I was gonna buy these things right now and I, I I'm telling you please don't buy these don't I, I my biggest suggestion to you overall is don't get in the NFTs unless unless you're really bored okay so you can see that this is the floor right here 0.39 all right so I would not buy anything down here you want to buy right here if you're gonna buy this thing and if you think it's gonna go up you just buy Bitcoin okay just but if you if you think it's gonna go up then you would buy this thing so let's imagine the floor gives out tomorrow and it goes down to like 2.2 ETH all right fine you know you lost some money right there but if you go in and do one of these <clears throat> where let's say this guy right here these people are buying at 2 ETH right now you know I think I think it's going to get back up there but let's let's actually go look at like hash mask okay let's look at the highest last sale in the hash mask so like these people right here buying at like 28 ETH I don't know if this person's gonna be able to sell this thing you know before the bear market comes and if the bear market comes this person's out like 50 grand so like don't do that if I was going to buy a hash mask right now what I would do if I was thinking it was going to go up which I don't think it's going to do um what are you doing I would go and buy these okay I'd buy these floor ones right here if I wanted to own one but here's the here's the most powerful tip of this whole entire video if you believe in these markets but you don't want to take the place the risk of having a liquid asset you can go to nftx right here and basically what these are index funds where let's say they grabbed uh 50 80 crypto punk oh 24 crypto punks all right these are worth a lot of money they go for like 40 grand at the, at the lowest okay so for example like I have a crypto punk that right now would sell for like $127,000 I'm not selling it because I'm a crazy person okay so don't 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 take any of my advice on this stuff I just generally like nfts but for example say you believe crypto punks are going to keep going up I firmly believe like the floor for crypto punks is going to be like two hundred thousand dollars here in five years I, I if, if you guys want me to explain that just follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker I talk about stuff like the same word does that mean I think it's a solid investment for you absolutely not but knowing that if I wanted to have liquidity and not have my money stuck in punks say something crashes or something like that I can just go right here and I can go grab this uh this this ether, this ether scan address right here this contract address and what I can do is I can go and paste this address right here and I can grab this and then I can trade into it and I can just I can literally trade my ETH right here in one of my wallets uh, to a punk so let's say I put in you know five ETH okay um and so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have 0 0.008 of a punk because they go for like 100k in this one or I don't I don't even know but let's say punks quadruple in price well I can then trade this back in ETH so let's say I put 10,000 in the punks quadruple in price now it's forty thousand dollars I can I can trade it back and have forty thousand dollars in ETH okay and so that's a way better way to buy NFTs if you're not into collecting and you're just wanting to make money that's the that's the way to do it okay so this has just been a really short tutorial I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it all up for you number one if you want to make money in NFTs follow crypto and NFT Twitter okay follow everybody that's talking about NFTs because they talk a lot and frankly let's let's just be straight if no one else buys their nfts the nfts don't go up in value so they talk about nfts a lot okay do not buy overpriced nfts what are these okay <clears throat> these are going to be nfts that start at a value of like one eth or 0.5 eth this is overpriced you your baseline what you should be paying for an nft that's starting off should be like in the 0.2s okay like 100 bucks or next to free for example crypto punks were free those cats I showed you today borderline free okay. don't ever buy high starting price NFTs from artists okay uh, unless you really like the art itself then that's fine okay by all means do that I don't care but if you're looking to make money you they have to be starting off at crazy cheap prices compared to the rest of the NFT market and then you flip them okay that's that's how you make the big bucks okay next 
don't buy from a secondary market. Okay. Or for example, I really wanted a, a Squirtle. Okay. And so I, I paid one ETH to grab this guy right here because I just really wanted one. But that's the absolute wrong move to do. That's such a terrible move uh, if you're not just trying to collect things. So what I, what I would do is just not do that. Don't ever buy from a secondary market if you want to make money because the secondary market is the inflated price. It's not the actual price it was minted at. Number two, if you, number three, number three, if you want to get in, buy at the floor. Okay, so say you want to buy a chain face right now. Buy at the floor. All right, so for example, I got into these a while ago. Let's see, how, let's see if I lost money on this. Okay, let's go look at these, these chain faces and what they're going for right now. Okay, and so this is, this is going to prove my point exactly, because I thought these things could go up by a lot, but if we go look at the floor right now, yeah, they, they, they went down. So look, the most I could exit for right now is like 0 0.07. So I didn't lose much money on that. I lost like 50, 30% of that. Of course, I only put in like a thousand bucks in these, so it's like $300 lost or something like that. But you can see this is exactly why you buy the damn floor, because of this, okay? All the people that bought them up here while the floor is going out, Ow, ow, 20 grand, six grand, four grand. Okay. Finally, if you just want to make money off of NFTs and you think they're going up, use NFTX and just invest in an index fund or buying the B20, for example, what I've talked about in a lot of videos. If you think uh, Beeples are going to keep increasing in value, uh, buy that. You know, that's what you want to do. By the way, I'm just going to be totally transparent with you guys on all this to close up this video. I don't own any punk. I don't own any B20 anymore. I exited that. I, of course, own all the NFTs I showed you. I would strongly suggest if you buy any of the NFTs I showed you, don't buy them if they're not at the launching price, okay? Like, don't, don't come in to any of these ones I just mentioned in this video and buy any of these. Okay, don't, don't go and buy these ones at these prices right here. Don't do that, okay? You want to buy them when it's brand new. You're going to see new projects being talked about on Twitter all the time. Hop into something when it's like 0 .001 ETH and then flip it for one. That's, that's the MO and that's how you make money in NFTs easily. You could do the whole, like, you could, you could do the whole predict the market and buy stuff and then it's expensive and flip it when it's more expensive. But this market is, is really loopy and I wouldn't suggest doing that. So this is everything I've learned about NFTs. Um, and if you break those rules, you're going to end up like me and you're going to get burned and it's, and you're going to feel really stupid and you're going to have to dig yourself out of an NFT hole. Now, don't get me wrong. I've, I've made plenty of money on my crypto trades and I, I do very well. So this is, this is, I, I can sleep at night because of it, but it's, it's, it was so dumb and I broke every single one of those rules. And if you break those rules, you're, you're going to feel stupid like I did. So don't do them. You're going to get dragged into this whole NFT craze. And I, I'm getting messages from people. Is this a good NFT? NFT? Is this a good NFT? None of them are good. None of them are good. Besides crypto punks, in my opinion. And those are still dangerous as hell. So follow me on ZSS Becker and... Uh <laughs>